Okay, we're going to have an unboxing of an Astra A60 pistol. Now, not quite familiar with this particular model. Uh, I was working with some Spanish guns and I came across this on an auction and got it. I am familiar with the Astra Constable, which uh, basically was Walter PP or PPK clone. Okay, uh, a lot of Europeans produced these pistols back in the 60s and 70s. And Astra, they were marketed um, by Interarms. And they're a good quality pistol, I guess. I was really never interested in them. And uh, I do have a book coming, so I'll have specifications, be able to identify the years and everything else um, with uh, the reference book, which that reference book costs like 180 bucks. So if you like the content and you like the information I'll be giving you, um, you know, please subscribe, hit the like button, and there is a link to my Patreon account down below uh, if you'd like to send support to the channel. And what your support money does is uh, help with the cost. So like these reference books are $180. Okay, but the information I get out of them helps me make videos which conveys the information to you. So, you can go out there and find a bunch of different uh, videos. This is somewhat of a clone of the Walter PP, PPK type pistol. A lot of, Euro like I said, a lot of European countries did it. The only difference with this one is instead of yanking the trigger guard down, you have to use a different type of takedown. And also, the A60, which this differs than the Constable, the Constable had a seven round magazine. The A60 has this 13 round magazine, which is kind of reminiscent of these new modern ones, kind of double stack feeds into a single stack. So this kind of makes, I believe, the frame of this gun, the A60, a bit wider. Uh, I may have a line on a Constable and get a seven shot version, compare them side by side. Also, much like the Walter, these guns are a double single action. Okay, and a lot of your different military guns, uh, the uh, Makarov pistols, the Polish P64, I believe, and the 83 all have the similar thing where when you depress the safety, your gun decocks. Okay, and then you could carry it like this with a round in the chamber, push this up. And you have double action for the first shot, then after the gun cycles, single action, okay? There is a half cock or somewhat, yeah, you'd call it a second uh, notch. And I believe this does not fall into that. No, it doesn't, but when then, when you hit the safety back up, See, it's there. And that way, with the safety off, you can carry it loaded and it'll fire. So, three positions on a hammer. Home, that safety notch, whatever you want to call it, and full cock with a double action trigger. And much like the PPK, blowback operated with one giant spring here. And to field strip, uh, the difference of not pulling down the trigger guard, you have to pull down like it's these little things, you have to pull them down simultaneously, then yank the slide rearward, tip it up, and it'll come off. And same with getting it on. It's very difficult to do. The one guy reviewed it in a video. I actually put the gun in a padded vise, 
hold it down with one hand and then lift it up with the other. That's how I disassemble this. The sights are fairly simple, okay? These should be adjustable, but there's a part missing off of this. And I'm not quite sure when they brought these in. And I really wasn't aware of the uh, A60. There were A50s brought in, which is a different gun. These A60s and then the Constables, uh, which were popular and sold by Inner Arms and I think a few other importers. Uh, the guns look the same. Nice quality blue finish on there. All steel. And so the only controls we have, the takedown I covered, the safety here. Okay. Which, if you grab the slide and cock it with the safety on, like I did when I went to the firing session, the gun's on safe. So it's about the only thing. And the other control that you have to worry about is, uh, or know about, magazine releases here and your slide release. So pretty basic gun. I guess these 60s were issued to the military and police, so they say. Once I get the reference book, I can discuss that further. Now the only downside about this gun is when I look for these spare magazines, I don't know if this gun, this gun's probably been out of production for a while. They had some of these magazines, brand new ones were going for like $120 and you cannot find uh, magazines for these guns. That's about the only downside of this. So, if you see one that does not come with a mag, do not buy it. Okay. I got this just for a reference and collector's thing. You know, you could. This is a nice concealed carry gun uh, in 380. I think they were made in 32 auto also. There was the civilian 22 long rifle model, but I don't know if they were made in an A60, but I will have more information on that when I get around to it. All right, so that's a quick overview of it, and I'm going to do a shooting video and probably several more as I expand out on collecting Astra pistols.